Hi folks, it's Mike Murphy, and today's quick tip is an Adobe After Effects CC 2023. In this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to use the Roto Brush 2 tool to separate objects from the background. You can use the Roto Brush 2 tool to separate the person from the background. So now the guy is on a transparent background and you can do anything with this footage. Maybe you wanna bring back the original footage, place some text in between the guy and the background, you have this cool parallax effect. Or add it to a still photo. The sky is the limit with the Roto Brush tool. For best results, make sure that the frame rate of the footage matches the frame rate of the composition settings. Otherwise, when you try to use the Roto Brush tool, you're gonna to see a yellow error message at the bottom telling you that there's a frame rate mismatch and you can fix the frame rate either using interpret footage or the composition settings. Rotobrush does not work on the main comp window, so you must open the footage in its own layer. To do so, all you have to do is select it in the layers panel and double click on it and that will open it up in its own layer. Then go up to the top toolbar, click on the icon that says Rotobrush. We're gonna be using the Rotobrush tool and you can use the Refine Edge tool to get more fine-tuned selections. Really great if you wanna select things like hair. So I'll click on the Rotor Brush tool. The cursor turns into this green circle with a crosshair in the center, and that is what we're gonna to use to brush over any objects that we want to remove from the background. So first, I'm gonna move my current time indicator to the beginning of the timeline. The first frame is the most important frame. So you wanna make sure that you're at the beginning of the footage or where you wanna start separating the object from the background. To change the size of the Roto brush, press the Command key on a Mac, Control on Windows, then just click, and I can increase the size of it or go in the reverse direction with my mouse to make it smaller. And Adobe recommends that you start with just one stroke across the object. So I'm just gonna come up to the top where his head is. I'm just gonna click on the top of his head and drag right down the foot here. And you see there's an outline around the subject. I'll press the space bar to access the hand tool so I can move the window around and use the scroll wheel on my mouse to zoom in and out. When the rotor brush is green, that means that you're adding to the selection when you brush over an area. If you press the Option or Alt key, the rotor brush turns red. That means that you are removing areas from the selection. So while I'm on this first frame, I'm just gonna go around the subject and try to improve the selection. I'll brush over areas that I want to add to the selection. I can do Command Z if something goes wrong and I wanna undo it. If I go out of the lines, I can press the Option key. I can make my brush a little smaller by pressing the Command key. There's some buttons below the comp window that'll just give you a second look at your selection. You can also go up to the effect controls where there's some additional settings for the Roto Brush and the Refine Edge tool. One setting that you might wanna try is quality. Change it from standard to best. And you might wanna try out the feather depending on what you're selecting. When you are happy with the selection on the first frame, press the space bar to start propagation you'll see a green progress bar across the bottom. And when it's done, you're just gonna go through your footage frame by frame, adjusting the selection as necessary. You can press the command or control key in the right and left arrow keys, or use the page up and the page down to scrub through your footage frame by frame. And when you're done, click on the button that says freeze, and this is going to cache and lock the Roto Brush and Refine Edge propagation. If you wanna make any updates to the Roto Brush, all you have to do is click the freeze button again, and that will unfreeze the Roto Brush propagation and to see the final results and actually use the Roto Brush footage, all you have to do is just go back into the main composition and now that footage that you removed from the background is on a transparent layer. I'll tap V for the selection tool and now I can move this object any way that I want. I can add footage below it, I can move it into position, I can use the scale property, I can add a curves adjustment if I wanna make the lighting match the background. And if you want to make any adjustments to your rotor brushing, just select the layer, double click to open it up in its layer, make sure you have the rotor brush tool selected, make any adjustments, use the settings, and then go back into the composition. That is the Rotor Brush 2 tool in Adobe After Effects CC 2023. My name is Mike Murphy. Cheers.